Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to a unboxing video. Um, it's actually nice to sort of just sit down and record a few videos tonight. So um, I have an unboxing from YouTube member Matt Mando, uh, Matt Spencer, all the way from the UK. Um, he's been one of my biggest supporters since um, having having membership as an option. So. Um, he got in touch with me recently. He was looking at down, sort of downsizing his collection, uh, moving away from the sort of black series and only sort of focusing on high end. Um, you know, the prices and stuff were just getting a little bit too much to sort of keep up with, which is absolutely fair. Um, I'll have a link in my channel to the uh, time he came on to a live stream with me um, a couple of months back. So if you want to catch that and get to know Matt a little bit more, you can go and check that out as well. Um, so yeah, they've been waiting, when did he send this? Uh, the 26th of June, so it's taken about three or four weeks to get here, but um, yeah, I'm, I've, I've done the liberty of getting rid of all the addresses and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got my trusty knife here. Um, yeah, he just, he offered me a few items, um, some customs um, that he put together, so I'm I'm really excited to add these to the collection. It's an it's an absolute honor, Matt. If you're watching, um, thank you so much for thinking of me. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'd absolutely be honored to to have some um, some custom pieces in my collection. So they are going to a good home. Um, well, they have come to a good home. So um, I'm just slowly crack this one open and. Uh, done a great job packing it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been nice to sort of get some new figures in this week. Um, it's been a couple of quiet weeks, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, sort of getting back into it a little bit, so to speak. Um, no, I think I've got all the uh, cutting ID done. No, still one more bit of tape there. Awesome, so we're just gonna oh, so I did say he's gonna send some uh send some food goodies. <laughs> awesome. Porky puffs. I've ne I've never heard of these, so this is this is cool. I'm guessing that's like little um like uh what do you call it? Pork crackling. We have prawn cocktail chips, awesome, or crisps as you call them over there, Cadbury dairy milk chocolate, awesome, we do have uh, Cadbury over here as well, that's probably our biggest chocolate over here, but um, I'll be interested to see if it's any different. Chewy nougat, exciting. Another Cadbury block. Rainbow drops. Interesting. <laughs> I can't work out what they are, but I will. I will try them. I, I just have to make sure there's no nuts in any of this stuff before I, before I eat it. Dip dab. We. I think these are similar to yeah sherbet. Sherbet dip. We used to have, I think we still have them, uh, Whiz Fizz, what we have down here in Australia. And, uh, you know, it was a bit of a dare to, uh, to sniff it. <laughs> it's just never ended well for anyone. And a couple more things. Wham Original. So, yeah, interested to see what, what all these are like. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, so let's get into the figures. Oh, this is cool. Oh, he's, he's gone all the way and individually bagged them. And this is, uh, this is really nice. I like it a lot. So we've got Utapau Shadow Trooper. So I have one of these, I have a couple of these in three and three quarter inch. And uh, yeah, really good job, Matt. It's actually awesome to see these like in person. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. Really great. We work with the paint. That's really nice and tidy, nice and clean. 
Yeah, it's going to look great on the uh, on the prequel shelf. That red visor looks sweet. I like it a lot. That's cool, man. Yep, that's that's nice. I dig it. So awesome job. Very nicely done. Um, I don't know if he told me about this or not, but it's Yoda. I feel like he may have told me about this, but I can't remember. But it's definitely in uh, in scale. Just a little, just a little statue. Um, I think it might be from the Unleashed. I could be wrong. That's cool. That will um, that will sit up on my prequel shelf actually. That's that's kind of cool. I like it. That's nice. I like the I like the sculpt of this. This is awesome. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, honestly, I can't remember if 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 you told me about that one or not, but you very possibly did. But if I've forgotten, I apologise. <laughs> All right, so we've got who we've got here. Another clone. All right, this guy looks cool. Oh, the weapon looks sick, man. That's cool. Like what you've done there. Bit of another shadow sort of mud trooper, I guess. Like a. Imagine this is like the uh, Mimbin Mud Jumpers from, uh, you know, they mentioned them on the uh, radio in the, uh, on the Rishi Moon. And I like that he's wrapped, put those wraps around the blast, that looks really effective, that's cool. Some sort of Mando cape, sort of on there. Yeah, it's cool. Like a, it's just like a clone version of the uh, Mud Trooper. It's sort of, I like that he's done the sort of mud up the boots there too. That looks really good. I'm stoked. That's really cool, man. I'm. Yeah, I dig it. Another awesome trooper. Another awesome trooper for the shelf. So that's cool. You know, I like all the I like all the mud detailing you've put on it. That looks sweet. That looks awesome. Uh, this one here, I'm excited about this one. I, this is the one I remembered. Um, so he did a custom based off of sort of Tartakovsky Clone Wars, and it's uh, one of the Hawkback Hawkback Battalion guys with the sort of the poncho, and this guy looks sick too. Again, he's all sort of dirty and muddy and. Cool, cool sort of weathering he's added to it underneath. That works really well. Awesome stuff. Again, sort of muddy boots. That's fantastic. I love this guy. Yeah, he's he's gonna have to sit next to um, Obi Wan, the Clone Wars Tartakovsky Obi Wan, I think, up on my shelf. That's cool. I feel like this would be an easy one for Hasbro to do, to be honest. But um, yeah, it obviously not just hasn't hasn't come on their radar. But I like it. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Oh, I remember you talking about this one. So what we have here is a custom Ben Solo. Jedi Knight. Day looks good. We sort of Ben Solo pre Force Awakens. He's done a lightsaber as well. It looks great. Nicely done. I'm gonna 
Let's put that in his hands. I dig it, dude. I like this. I don't know whether to put him on Force Awakens shelf or elsewhere. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about this one. So it's sort of like young Ben Solo before he uh, sacked Luke's temple. Nice work with the soft goods. That's that looks great. Let's just see that's all soft goods there. That looks fantastic. Done a really good job. Awesome. I'm stoked with this one too. This is fantastic. Woo, Ben Solo. Check it out. That's cool. Oh, I'm not a custom, but he did say he'd send me this one too, so I appreciate that big time. Uh, this one has been near impossible to get here in Australia, at least. So we finally have a remnant stormtrooper. Yeah, this one didn't actually come out at all down here in Australia. It's uh, that was a bit of a kerfuffle. Um, Zing Pop Culture put them up for pre-order. Lasted about lasted a few hours, managed to get an order in and then they completely pulled the listing. They didn't actually warn anyone that uh, they'd removed the pre-order. So pre-orders still stood, but they were never going to come. So yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to have one in my collection finally. Um, yeah, I'll be doing a review of this one for sure. Um, just so I'm sort of up to date with my reviews and stuff like that. So here we're going on the Mandalorian shelf. So that's awesome. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that so much. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you absolute ripper. He knew it was after this magazine. The SFX. This was the uh, Unseen Star Wars issue. Uh, that was back in like January or February. Yeah, February. And again, this is... UK publication so it was was kind of hard to track down here in Australia and I never did so um, yeah thank you Matt I appreciate this so much dude this is awesome this is fantastic I can't wait to sit, to sit and read through this and uh, see what it was all about because uh, yeah just just looking at the cover here it's oh this is awesome absolutely fantastic That's cool, man. I'm I'm thrilled. So yeah, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Um, I definitely want to get you back on a live stream at some point to have a chat Star Wars again. Um, we could spend probably a good hour talking about Quinlan Voss and how much we love Quinlan Voss. So we'll have to make that happen very very soon. So again, thank you. Um, this is all amazing. I'm overwhelmed. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, this is this has made my day. So, um, stay tuned. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and uh, definitely check out the member section on my channel. Um, you can sign up for a small fee per month, and uh, you can join a group of awesome, awesome folks. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. So yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. May the force be with you always.